All right, all right, let, let's get serious here. Uh, this client is a big deal. He's a player in the music business. No, you know what? I'm going to take it one step farther and say he is a player in the music business. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to be at the top of our game here, all right? We, we got to be, you know, more brilliant than we've ever been. Totally. Couldn't agree more. Now open your mouth. <laughs> You're good. It's a gift. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. Absolutely. Probably. We'll see. Hey, how about you do some work? It's probably right. Pull. Pull. <laughs> now we can work. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We have to come up with that one inspired idea that will make this project special. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, I got, got it. it. Oh, no, you go first. Okay, okay. We do a living roof. They're hugely popular in Scandinavia. I'm talking about a roof completely covered in vegetation and plantings. It's, it's, it's eco-friendly, it's cost-effective, it's literally green. Wow, that's a lot better than my idea. Well, what was your idea? My idea was marshmallows in the butt. <laughs> Yours is much more professional. <laughs> you really like it? I, I, I think it's great. I mean, a living roof says, I love the planet, I'm into modern design, and I am a player in the music business. You don't think it sucks? No, I don't think it sucks. You know how I can tell? Because I just said it was great. I wouldn't say genius. I didn't, uh, but it's pretty close to genius. I mean, you know, there are some issues to consider, irrigation, maintenance, but you know, that's, that's all technical stuff, and I can figure that out. Still, visionary is a strong word. <laughs> it is a strong word, and it is also a word I did not say. Phone call for one of you guys. Who is it? It's that British guy who, for some reason, Joe keeps calling a player in the music business. I'll get it. Lyle, it's Lewis. Listen, before you say anything, I just want to tell you that you are going to love my idea for the roof. The words I'm hanging around the office are genius and visionary. <laughs> And the first thing this one says to our client is, you're gonna love my idea for the roof. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I was excited, it just slipped out. So, whose idea was the roof? Well, that's just it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, we're partners. It's always our idea. That's the number one rule of being in a partnership, and you know that, Liz. Yes, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, on the way over here tonight, when I was telling Wyatt the story, I said that the roof was our idea. Did I not, hush puppy? <laughs> Lewis, you, you know I can't tell a lie. Well, don't. Just tell him how I said it was our idea. <laughs> oh, would you look at this? He's frozen in fear. I live with a possum. Okay, look. I promise tomorrow at the meeting, I will tell the client that the roof is our idea, okay? Does the client have a name? Because I'm pretty sure you don't actually call him Mr. Music Business. <laughs> yes, I call him British Lyle. Well, look, do me a favor, okay? Tomorrow, when we meet him, do not slip into your British accent. You do that too, Joe. You do that too. I, I know, I know. It's just when he starts talking, it's quite <laughs> difficult not to join in, you know what I mean? Absolutely. The gentleman is correct. It's quite contagious, it is. <laughs> Watching Downton Abbey with these two is so brutal. <laughs> All right, no accents tomorrow, okay? No, no. no goofing around. We've got to be focused. We've got to be prepared. Yes, okay. and we should leave the marshmallow guns at home. <laughs> Wyatt, how was your day at the hospital? Did you find anything weird inside of anybody? I love those stories. No, not today, but it was rough. About 50 people came into the ER with rashes and bites. Bed bugs. Wait, wait. Bed bugs freak me out. Do I have to worry about bed bugs now? No, no, probably not. It started in Bushwick at a thrift store. Somebody brought home an infested mattress. Pretty soon, they're everywhere. Well, speaking of living off your host, thank you for dinner. <laughs> we'll get the next one. No, you won't. Uh, I love how we finish each other's thoughts. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow morning at the meeting. Yes, don't forget to have a scone with oh, your tea. Absolutely. Never go to work on an empty stomach. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Joe? 
Joe? You don't have bed bugs. I am positive I have bed bugs. Allie, you know how freaked out you get every time Wyatt tells one of his stories. You just started using scissors again. That guy cut off all ten fingers, Joe. How did he get to the last two? It shouldn't be possible. Honey, we don't have bed bugs, okay? I'm gonna go boil the sheets. Joe, Lewis, that was quite the impressive presentation. It's everything I hoped it would be, and then some, but, uh, do we need this bearing wall in the family room? Right, well, <coughs> uh, it is a large room, dude. <coughs> um, but yeah, you, you need that load bearing wall to support such a sizable space. Uh, yes, of course. And of course, it can't be in this room because that's the room with the bay window looking out over the garden. Right, indeed, the garden. We're doing it. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, we're very excited to be working on the landscaping design as well. And we want the garden to be not only beautiful, but fragrant, something for the eyes and the nose. Oh, for example? Mm, fields of lavender and tea roses and snozberries and gooseberries, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Aren't you both from New York? Yes, we're all raised, yes. Mm. <laughs> Do you know, when I was younger, I worked with perhaps the most famous partnership of best friends, Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> well, I'm convinced we can design a better house than they can. <laughs> well, of course you can. They're musicians and you're architects. <laughs> I think what my partner's trying to say is that we're confident that you're going to be happy with our work. Oh, cheers to that. <laughs> right home, mate. Brilliant, then. <laughs> Which part of New York? Long, Long Island. Island. <laughs> Curious accent. But I love the work. Oh, Let's oh, do it, man. boys. All right, cheers. Excellent. All right. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, before I sign off on the project, I'd love to see a design for a guest house as well. Can you get me something for our next meeting? Absolutely. Sure. We'd love to. <laughs> we would be delighted to do that. <laughs> oh, and uh, make sure to use a living roof for the guest house as well. I've forgotten which one of you came up with that master stroke. <laughs> well, we don't keep track of that guy. I did. <laughs> Sorry, Governor. Thank you for shopping here, and please come back. My cousin Ali owns the store and makes everything by hand. Well, except the stones. We'll thank the good Lord for those. <laughs> Renata, look at you. Everything about that transaction was perfect. You even remembered to charge the customer this time. Yeah, it felt nice, real nice. <laughs> You're in a good mood. Well, let's just say I got a confidence boost last night. Oh. From a penis. <laughs> That came at me fast. <laughs> That's what I said. Where did you meet it? At the library. Neither of us have internet. We were both cruising eBay for used clothes. Shared interests. That's good. It gets better. He decided to take me to his favorite thrift store. Thrift store? Yeah, right there in Bushwick. Bushwick? Oh, this place was crawling with deals. <laughs> After we bought our turtlenecks, we also bought long underwear, and we were looking for a place to, you know, do stuff through our clothes. <laughs> and lucky we stumbled on the most romantic thing ever. There were mattresses just sitting outside of every single apartment building, as if the world knew exactly what we needed. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you laid down on an abandoned mattress? Right there in Bushwick. It was like a Nora Ephron movie. <laughs> Come on, who cares? We got the job. And for the record, it's not just any roof. My idea was for a living roof. My idea. It was my idea? No, it was my idea. No, no, I'm quoting you. You said it was my idea. I said it was my idea. <laughs> yes, I am saying that you said it was your idea. Why would I say it was your idea? <laughs> the point is that we are a team. You contribute. I contribute. It doesn't matter who does what. Okay, fine. We won't say who does what. <laughs> well, what does that mean? Okay, fine. We won't say who does what. What, what is this? This what? is how you talk. Oh, this is, oh, how, this I is talk. how you talk. I talk like I'm playing the piano. You talk like a piano player. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, if you don't want to say who does what, then we won't say who does what. Well, I know. See, even, even the way you're saying we won't say who does what, it's like you're implying to me that it's important that we know who does what. <sighs> we do know who does what. <laughs> okay, then. Who does what? I thought you said you didn't want to say who does what. I want you to say who does what. Joe, I don't want to do this. Oh, we're doing it, Lewis. We're doing it! <laughs> you 
are being silly. We are a team. We collaborate together, like any good team, like 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 Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, see, that's an upsetting example right there. What? What? Simon and Garfunkel. They were a team. No one knows who did what. Don't play dumb. Simon wrote the music and the lyrics. He was the visionary. Hmm. <laughs> What's with the face? What? No, what? No face. I won't do it again, I promise. And there it is again. Oh, oh, hey, look, oh, can we just drop it, please? No, no, we're getting to the I bottom I really of this. think that we should drop because it. Because you know you're nothing without me. Wow. I really don't want to have this conversation right now. Yeah, well, we're having it. No, we are not, because Simon says we aren't. <laughs> I knew it. Well, you forced me into it. You really think you bring more to this partnership, don't you? No, not more, not more. You build the models, and you make the blueprints, and all the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, and I am the idea guy. I bring the flash, and the sizzle, and the razzmatazz that makes all the clients excited. <laughs> I do the blah, blah, blah. That's what you think I do? The blah, blah, blah? Well, let me tell you something. Without my blah, 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 you got nowhere to stick your razzmatazz. <laughs> You're the one who insisted we say who does what. Go write your Graceland. I am not familiar with that reference. <laughs> You're flying solo on this one. Oh, oh yes, on. you are. You're gonna design Lyle's guest house by yourself. Fine. My roof. It was my roof! I was courting you! You moron! <laughs> blah, blah, blah! Hey, Allie. Oh, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I know you were in the middle of a shift. Yeah, no problem. What's up? You know my cousin Renata who works here? She fooled around with some random guy on an abandoned mattress in Bushwick, and I am pretty sure she has bed bugs. It sounds like she engaged in some very risky bed bug behavior. You went? But I feel like it would be weird for me to just ask her, so I need you to casually examine her without her knowing. You think that's less weird? Look, I know she's my cousin, but we have kind of an awkward relationship. I'm afraid she cares too much about what I think of her. Yeah, okay, I, I get it. I, I just don't know if I'm comfortable pretending. Wyatt, you pull light bulbs out of people all week. Just do this for me. No one understands my job. Super modern. It's gonna be all white. No moldings, no details like that. Just clean, clean lines. I'm gonna do white walls. <laughs> white leather tile. Floor to ceiling windows. Floor to ceiling windows. <laughs> Poured cement, buffed to a high gloss. I call it insane asylum couture. <laughs> I love the sound of it. Thank you. But I just can't picture it. That's what I'm here for. Close your eyes. No. Super modern. It's gonna be all white. No moldings, no details like that. Just clean, clean lines. We're gonna do white walls with white leather tile. Yeah, I think you misunderstood me. I can hear, but I can't see. <laughs> I'm having a problem visualizing it. Well, maybe you need to visualize harder. No, I don't want to. I want to see a blueprint on a model. But that's just the blah, blah, blah. I want the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Would you excuse me for just a minute? <laughs> Joe, Joe, we've got a problem. You think you've got a problem? I'm eating a cheeseburger salad, and it's disgusting, and I can't stop. <laughs> he wants to see a model and blueprints. Outrageous. So what's the problem? I have neither a model nor blueprints. Gee, what do you have? I have ideas. And? Words. And? Razzmatazz. Oh, come on. You know I'm not as good at the technical aspects of architecture as you are. I do know that. Then can't you just come in here and, and whip something out on the computer? I could, but then I'd never be able to run for office. <laughs> you know, you're not being a very good partner here. Blah. Blah, blah. Oh, forget it, forget it! I don't need this. I'll do this myself. <laughs> Say, Lyle. Do you like marshmallows? I don't know, Allie. You're basically asking me to lie, and I can't. You don't have to lie. You just have to stick to the plan. If you see bed bugs on her, we will tell her. And if you don't, then she'll never know. Renata, what's wrong? 
I just got dumped by the love of my life. You mean Bushwick Bob? <laughs> uh, I never knew his name. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Best thing you can do right now is just focus on your work. This is my friend Wyatt, and he needs to buy some jewelry for his mom, and he would like you to model it because you have the same body type. Oh, that's actually not a lie. So what do you say? I have always wanted to model. That's the spirit. Now, I need you to put on a brave face and just focus on your work. I don't know. You can do this. Okay, but we split the commission. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Maybe a necklace would be nice. Here, try this. Get in there, Wyatt. Get a really good look. Come on, Renata, sell it. Uh, I'm not really sure this is her style. Um, maybe an anklet? Uh-huh. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure this is her style either. It sounds like a bitch. My mother? Maybe we should see something for the belly button area. For my mother? Yes. <laughs> Try this. All right, just a warning. I've got an aggressive Audi. Oh, it's okay. I'm a nurse. Oh, my God. It's like a little person. <laughs> uh, maybe something uh, for the armpits? All right. Show's over. What's going on here? What? Wyatt is just buying jewelry for his mom. Right, Wyatt? You really are like a possum. Sorry, Allie, I, I can't lie. Renata, Allie thinks your lifestyle choices have led you to do some questionable things in filthy places. So she asked me here to inspect you for bed bugs. Is that true? I'm sorry. But why can't you just tell me? Well, because I worry sometimes that you're a little sensitive. Oh, wow. But. You know, I came here to learn from you in a place where I feel safe and loved. I'm not that fragile little victim anymore. That was the old Renata, the weak Renata, the Renata who never had the strength to refer to herself in the third person. <laughs> but now she does, because of you. My cousin, my mentor, my friend. I love you. Oh, cuz. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go text that guy and show him what he's missing. <laughs> that was really sweet. Not that sweet. She has bed bugs. No, 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 no! <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, that was my first lie. I felt pretty good. All right, fine. You won. I'm nothing. Lewis, put down the marshmallow gun and let's talk about this. <laughs> Nothing to talk about. You're not nothing. Well, I'm not the genius you say I am. I never said you were a genius. Because I'm nothing. It's always extremes with you, Lewis. You're the meanest person in the world. <laughs> what? What is going on with you? What's going on with me? I, I'm dying in there. I obviously can't do this without you. So what? I can't do this without you either. Okay? We can't do this without each other. And if we both know that, why have you been acting like a maniac? Because, I guess... I guess if I'm being honest, I feel like you do more of the hard work than I do. And so sometimes I have to exaggerate my part. I guess I still feel like I have to prove something to you. Louis, you don't think I have the same insecurities? Really? Of course I do. You're the nicest person in the world. <laughs> Look, we're both essential to this partnership. We're Simon and Simon. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah, yeah, right. we're good. <laughs> no, we're not good. What are we gonna tell Mr. Bean in there? <laughs> we're gonna tell him. Hello, guest house. <laughs> it's the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Come on, you didn't think I was just gonna blow off a huge client. Boy, if I had a nickel. <laughs> hey, 
I knew you'd come through for me. I knew you'd fall on your face. Why do we have to say who does what? <laughs>